Hey everyone, this is Richard Noto, Realtor, Home Inspector, Notary in Winter Garden, Florida. Just making a little video of this home that, it's not a model home, but it's a finished home over at Beezer in Windermere Isles. <coughs> Excuse me, Windermere Isles is over by the Magic Kingdom. It's very close down the road on uh, Reams Road. And you can see that from the porch is plenty of room. We got a two car garage. Nice upgraded front door. Let's step inside. So when you step inside, off to the right, you got this little cove. Now the lights are, um, it looks like the lights in this home are still being worked on. I see the, looks like the doorbell is not fully attached. Um, so I'm not gonna be turning on lights. We're just gonna do this with whatever daylight comes in or if they happen to have a light on. So we have a bedroom. Yeah, you can see the, the, uh, the cover's not on yet. Okay, so you got a walk-in closet. And there's a way upstairs here. And I'm gonna go straight. And let's go into the walk-in closet. Here's an air conditioning unit. Let's head back out. Okay, so as you can see, there's no furniture in here again. This is, this is not a model home, but typically, this to me is the best way to see a home. Model homes, you know, they look nice. Granted, they have, you know, the best furniture in them. Um, you know, they have a lot of fancy upgrades, special trims and all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> but if you could see a home that is empty, for you, you're gonna get the best um, indication of how it's gonna fit you you could actually picture your furniture better without all the, um, without, without all the other stuff uh, clouding your mind. And, and um, this is an ex ex extremely large section you have here. Um, you got a nice kitchen cove. And as you can see, the counter is rounded. I don't know if I could, maybe that'll show it better. The countertops are rounded which is a very different look. You don't see that often. You got a nice little cove over here. So if you had like, um, like a child that was doing homework and you were cooking, you could um, sit them over there to help them. Or you could turn it into a little, um, a little office space for yourself if you like to cook and also work. You could put your laptop over there, do whatever. Very nicely thought out. Here's your backyard. Um, you, you could definitely screen this in, this patio. That would be worth it. And it always is. Now in this community, I've noticed I've seen two types of um, fence. I've seen uh, PVC, which if we go across, you could see some is PVC and some is metal. So the metal fence has that very nice um, garden look to it. And the PVC is in the back, right here. I'm trying to be as steady as my hand will allow. Okay. So let's head back this way.
Okay, here's something that I'd like to point out, that if you are looking for a home, and hopefully you, you have me helping you, but if you don't, if you live in another state or someplace else, and you just have homes there in general, um, you know, kind of keep an eye on how the doors feel in a home. Um, I, I have noticed that the homes that have uh, doors that feel more solid uh, when they open and close, um, especially on the closets and stuff like that. Just want to get a shot over here of this full bath. Um, to me, that's uh, that's kind of um, a good indication, um, you know, of the type of quality that you might have in a house. Um, you know, even even a home that's a um, uh, a cheaper home. You know, it seems like home builders, uh, the doors are one of the first, um, one of the first things that are scrimped on. And, you know, of course, it has to fit a certain uh, price point, but the doors are definitely something. Um, the molding, the baseboard molding, depending on what that is, if that's real wood or if it's that like um, uh, press board stuff, um, you know, that stuff is a lot cheaper. But if it gets wet. It swells up, and then you typically just gotta tear it all off the wall. But real wood doesn't swell. Okay, this is a really nice room. So here's your opposite end view. Plenty of room here for furniture or however you want to set that up into like an entertainment room. Okay, so here's your laundry room. Nice size laundry room. Great looking floors, the upgraded floors. Um, this is gonna go there eventually. And this is your uh, tray that goes underneath your washing machine. So always check out that tray. And when you do have somebody show up that is uh, delivering your washing machine or if you're transferring it from your current home, make sure that it's placed down extremely uh, uh, gently not to crack the tray. And here you got a half bath. There we go. It's a little dark. And this is a nice size uh, bedroom with a nice size walk-in closet. I'm just gonna put my leg in there just to kind of show you. Good size. Okay, so where was I? Because I feel like I'm getting lost. I think I came in this way. I believe this bathroom connects. Okay, so we got two sinks. Here's your toilet. Here's your tub. Kind of dark in the closet, so I just wanted to show you the size of that without touching any lights. Okay, so. Hmm.
So this looks like this is your master. Okay, interesting, interesting setup. You have a sink on one side and a sink on the other, which is excellent. So you got space for two people to get ready without being in each other's way. Got your toilet. And over here, you have a nice step-in shower. You just got one shower head. It's very, very large shower though for only one shower head. Okay, so you got two closets. And again, it's dark in here, so. Oh, I mean, it's, it's one closet, but it's divided into two closets with this wall. Okay, so I think that I covered this upstairs fully. I'm just looking it over. Yeah, this was your laundry room. Yeah, beautiful home, very spacious, um, nice floor plan, you know, but it, it, it has to be right for you ultimately in the end. If I could help you out in any way with your purchase or sale of a home, please don't hesitate to contact me. I am no pressure sales and unlike the sales team that works in the office for the home builder or the listing agent that works for the resale seller, I do work for you. And with that said, I do get paid by the home builder or the listing agent. So for you, it is essentially free as a home buyer. And lastly, I do offer various incentives which can change at any time. So please do contact me to see how I could help you. And please like, favorite, share, subscribe. I look forward to working with you in the future. And don't hesitate to reach out to me with any questions. Thank you.